Hello everyone, this is Glenda and welcome back to Creative Grandma. This is part one of the crochet tutorial, the crochet along for the Rising Star Doily. Now this video is courtesy of Hobium Yarns. They have been wonderful enough to supply me with all the threads needed to make these doilies. Now I have the blue one and I'm going to show you the pink one in a minute. Their Yarn Art Violet Thread, when you get on their website, I just wanted to clear this up for my U.S. subscribers. When you look at this, it'll say a super fine number one here on the label. So their super fine number one is the same as our U.S. size 10 crochet thread. So if you're confused, if it says super fine number one, that is the same thing as our size 10. So this is what I use for the doily. So let me show you my first sample and I'll have a link in my description box and if you wanted to try this yarn art violet crochet thread it really was wonderful to work with. I really enjoyed it and they have many colors. So this pattern is not limited to just pink or blue. You can use whatever colors match your decor this would look beautiful maybe in a beige with some browns and burgundies. You can use browns and blues, maybe a neutral, all kinds of different color combinations. You can use different colors for each round. It's all up to you in what you would want it to look like. So let me show you the two samples I have just to give you some ideas of how differently they look using different colors. Now this blue one here, this is made, this dark blue here is color number 4915, the dark blue. And then I used their color number 003 for the white. And then this light blue right here is color number 4917 light blue. And these are all the yarn art violet colors and they're the color numbers. So this is the blue one and this is the one I'm making in the video today. We're going to be making the blue and white. So let me grab the pink one. And if you want a more subtle, a softer look, then here is the pink one. Now this is beautiful, just, oh, I just love the pinks. It's kind of romantic looking, and I like those Victorian, soft Victorian colors. And this doily was made using number 319 for this medium pink here. And then the white, again, was 003 white. And the color number for this light pink here, this peachy pink, that is color number 6313 for the light peachy pink. So those are the colors. Now you will need one ball of each color. Now you don't need so much of this light color, but I put one ball of each color. So this is the design. It measures 16 inches across after you stretch it and block it. So it's a pretty nice size, 16 inches in diameter. You're going to need a steel crochet hook size zero zero. That is what you need for the doily. Now I'll have all the information in the description box if you would like to get a copy of the pattern to follow along. This is a pretty detailed pattern so it may help to have the pattern along with the video. So let's get started on this doily. I already have my thread attached to my hook. Now I do want to apologize right before I start because I'm working with thread. I have a lot of trouble with my eyes, so until I get the first couple rounds made on this doily, it's gonna be a little bit hard for me to see what I'm doing, so please forgive my slowness. We're going to start our doily with a chain five. Yarn over, pull through the loop on your hook, that counts as your first chain. Yarn over, pull through, that's two. Yarn over, pull through, that's three. Yarn over, pull through, that's four. Yarn over, pull through, and that's five. We're going to skip the first four chain. We're going to bring our hook down to that fifth chain from hook. Insert your hook, and we're going to slip stitch. Yarn over, pull through that chain, and pull through the loop on your hook you're going to spread this loop apart. I hope you can see, and we're going to work right into the center of that ring. 
Now for round one, we're going to start with the chain six. Yarn over, pull through, that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Our beginning chain six, the first three chain acts as the first double crochet, and then the other three chain acts as our chain three, so it's going to bend over. So now we're going to work our repeat. So yarn over the hook, insert your hook into the center of that ring, yarn over, pull back through that ring, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, and pull through two loops. You just made your first double crochet. You're going to chain three. One, two, and three. And once you get your first and second round made, it's going to be a lot easier to work with because right now it's hard to grab a hold of this because it's so tiny. I'm going to show you one more time. You're going to work a double crochet into the ring and chain three. So yarn over the hook insert into the center of that ring and work a double crochet. You're going to chain three. So we made two of the seven repeat so go ahead and repeat that five more times. Work one double crochet into the ring and chain three. Do that five times. I'll meet you when you're finished and we'll finish round one. I'm over at the end of round one and if you look at your work, you will have your beginning chain six here and then you worked your double crochet chain three a total of seven times. So just skip this beginning chain six and count your double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then you ended with a chain three. So now we're going to join our round and we're going to slip stitch into the third chain of that beginning chain six. So you're going to count up to the third chain, one, two, three, insert your hook into that third chain and slip stitch, yarn over, pull through that chain and pull through the loop on your hook. Round one is finished. I worked my stitches over my starting thread. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clip this thread off to get it out of my way. So let me grab my scissors. Just snip that right off. Make sure you don't go into any of your other stitches. That way it's out of the way. We're going to begin round two. So round two, we're going to start by slip stitching into the first chain three space. So just insert your hook into that first chain three space, yarn over, pull back through that chain three space, and pull through the loop on your hook. We just want to be in the inside of that chain three space to start our round two. We're going to start with a chain one. We're going to work a single crochet, one half double crochet, one double crochet. We're going to chain three and then work a double crochet, half double crochet, and single crochet all into this chain three space and we're just going to repeat that around. So let's start our repeat. This is the beginning of the repeat. Insert your hook into that first chain three space and work a single crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert back into that same beginning chain three space and work a half double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert back into that same chain three space, 
and work a double crochet. Again, I'm really slow because I have a lot of trouble using thread, but I love to make doilies. We're going to chain three, one, two, and three. Now we're going to reverse and work one double crochet, a half double crochet, and a single crochet all into the same chain three space. So you can take your fingers and just pull those stitches over and make room. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same chain three space, work your double crochet, yarn over the hook, insert into that same chain three space, and work your half double crochet, insert into that same chain three space, and work your single crochet. So that is the end of the repeat. I'll show you one more time, very simple repeat. You're going to work a single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, then you're going to chain three and then reverse and work a double crochet, half double crochet, single crochet into the next chain three space. So let's begin. Insert your hook into that next chain three space. Work a single crochet. Yarn over the hook. Insert into that same chain three space and work a half double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert back into that same chain three space, and work a double crochet. You're going to chain three, one, two, and three. I grab my stitches and I pull those stitches back to make room for the rest of my stitches. So just pull them over to the side and then you have more room to make those stitches. So yarn over the hook, you're going to insert back into that same chain three space and you're going to work a double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same chain three space, and work a half double crochet. Insert into that same chain three space, and work a single crochet. So that is the end of the repeat. So you can just click back on the video and you're just going to repeat this in each chain three space around. You will work a single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, chain three, double crochet, half double crochet, and single crochet in each chain three space around. I will meet you at the end of round two and show you how to join. I'm over at the end of round two and this is what your center of your doily should look like. You should have a total of eight petals. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now we're going to join our round with a slip stitch into that beginning single crochet. So just insert your hook right into the top of that beginning single crochet. I go under both loops of the stitch, yarn over, pull through that stitch, and pull through the loop on your hook. I'm going to fasten off my work. I'm going to secure. I chain two and then I pull it down into a knot. Now you, if you have your own method, you can choose whatever method you prefer. Now for this video, I'm going to leave my ends hang and then you can take a small tapestry needle 
and always weave your ends in on the back. So I will take a small needle and I will weave this yarn in through my stitches on the back. So if I can find a needle, I might do that so it's out of the way. So I'll be back, grab your white, and I'll be back and we'll get round three started. Now before I start round three, I just wanted to show you what I do. Now my, I have a yarn needle and it's really too big to use for this, but I don't have a smaller needle right at the moment. Now this is the front of my work and this is the back of my work. So I just thread that yarn through a needle I come back on the wrong side of my work and I just go right underneath all those stitches right there in that chain three space. And then you're just going to pull that needle through and it weaves that end in. Now if you want to weave it in under more stitches you can go under the next set of stitches. It's however many stitches you want to weave under. So I'm just going to clip this off and that way it's out of the way when we start round three. So this is what it should look like so far. So I'm going to grab my white and I'll be right back and get round three started. So I have my white. Now I'm going to leave a little bit longer length, maybe about a four inch, five inch length. I'm going to pick up my doily. I'm going to insert my hook in any one of the chain three spaces. It doesn't matter. Just grab one insert your hook into that chain three space and I'm just going to pull my new color through. I'm going to pull that white through and again I'm leaving about a four to five inch length in the back and that just helps me secure it when I'm finished with the round to the back of my work. We're going to start round three with a chain one. We're going to insert back into that same chain three and work a single crochet. You're going to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six and seven. Now we're going to start the repeat. It's a very simple repeat for this round. You're going to insert your hook into the next chain three space of that next petal. Insert your hook into that next chain three space and work a single crochet. You're going to chain seven one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And that is the end of your repeat. Let me show you one more time. To start the repeat, you're going to insert your hook into the chain three space of the next petal. You're going to work a single crochet. You're going to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. That is the end of your repeat. So go ahead and if you need to, click back on the video. You're going to insert your hook into the center of that next petal in the chain three space work a single crochet, chain seven. Insert your hook into the center of that next petal in the chain three space, single crochet, and then chain seven. You're going to repeat that around. I will meet you at the end of round three. You will work your last single crochet into that last petal, chain seven, and I'll meet you there and show you how to join your round. I'm over at the end of round three and if you look at your work you have a starting single crochet, you chain seven, 
you worked a single crochet in that center of that petal, chain seven, single crochet in the center of the petal, chain seven, and you repeated that around your doily. So when you come to the end of the doily, you worked a single crochet into that last petal and you ended with a chain seven. So now we're just going to join our round with a slip stitch into that top of that beginning single crochet. So let me grab my work here. We're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that beginning single crochet. Insert your hook under the top two threads of that stitch. Yarn over, pull through that stitch, and pull through the loop on your hook. Round three is finished. Now we're going to start round four. To start round four, we need to come over to the center of this beginning chain seven space. So we're going to slip stitch in each of the first four chain of this beginning chain seven. So insert your hook into the first chain and slip stitch. That's one. Insert into the next chain and slip stitch. That's two. Insert into the next chain, slip stitch. That's three. Insert into the next chain and slip stitch. And that is four and you're right in the center of that beginning chain seven space. So now we're going to start our round with a chain three. One, two, and three. This beginning chain three counts as our first double crochet. We're going to work two more double crochet right in the center of this beginning chain seven space. So yarn over the hook, insert into that beginning chain seven space, and work a double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert back into the center of that beginning chain seven space, and work a second double crochet. So you have your beginning chain three, and you have two double crochet all into the center of that first beginning chain seven space. Now we're going to chain six, one, two, three, four, five, and six. We're going to start our repeat. Our repeat will be, we're going to work three double crochet into the center of that next chain seven space, and then we're going to chain six. So yarn over the hook, insert into the center of the next chain seven space, and work three double crochet. That's one. Yarn over, insert into that same chain seven space, Work your second double crochet. That's two. Yarn over, insert into that same chain seven space, and work your third double crochet. Now sometimes I just like to move those stitches over to the center where they belong. Now we're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And that is the end of the repeat. So go ahead and repeat. You're going to work three double crochet into the center of that next chain seven space, and then you're going to chain six. You're going to repeat that around. I will meet you at the end of round four when you finish your last repeat, and then I'll show you how to join. I'll be right back. We're going to go ahead and join our round with a slip stitch into the top of that beginning chain three. So count up one, two, three, insert your hook into the top of that beginning chain three, and slip stitch. Yarn over the hook, pull it through that chain, and pull it through the loop on your hook. Round four is finished. 
So now we're going to start round five and this is starting our diamond shape. This is the point of our diamond and we're going to continue working up halfway, increasing, making the bottom half of the diamond and then we'll decrease to make the top half of the diamond. So let's begin. We're going to start with the chain three. One, two, and three. We're going to work two double crochet into the same beginning chain where we did our chain three. So yarn over the hook. You're going to insert into that same top beginning joining chain that you made that beginning chain three and you're going to work two double crochet. There's one. Yarn over the hook, insert back into that same space at the top of that beginning chain and work your second double crochet. Again, I'm sorry I am really slow when it comes to thread work. I just have so much trouble with my eyes but I still enjoy doing it. We're going to skip this next double crochet stitch and we're going to work three double crochet into this next double crochet. So yarn over the hook, skip that center double crochet, insert into the next double crochet, and work three double crochet. There's one. Yarn over the hook, insert back into that same stitch and work your second double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same chain and work your third double crochet. So you started with your chain three, you have two double crochet into that same first stitch, you skip the next stitch and you work three double crochet into that next stitch. Now we're going to go ahead and chain six, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now when you start your repeat it's very important where you put your hook so your stitches don't look deformed. We're going to yarn over, we skip that chain six space and we're going to insert our hook into the first stitch but do not insert under the top two loops. You want to come down and you want to go right underneath the top two loops and right into that space right here underneath it. You want to go right into that stitch, right through. So let me pull my hook out again. If you work here under those top two loops, what happens is your stitches will start looking like they're pulled over to the right too far. So we're just going to go into this little tiny space right underneath those two loops. So when you put your hook in there, you'll actually have three loops underneath your hook. You'll have the top two loops and then one more loop. And this holds those stitches right in the center of that first stitch where you want them. And that's very important. So let's begin the repeat. Yarn over, insert into that space, underneath the top two loops but going under one more strand of thread. So you're going right into this little hole. You will have three threads on your hook and work your first double crochet. And again this keeps those stitches right in the center of that stitch so they don't pull to the right too far. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same space, and work your second double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same space, and work your third double crochet. 
you have three double crochet into that first stitch. Yarn over the hook, you're going to skip the center stitch and you're going to work right into the same spot under the top two loops and going right into that space below. You will have three threads on your hook for this one stitch. I'm trying to pull it apart so you can see it's kind of underneath. I don't know if you can see it. There it is. So you have three threads when you insert your hook underneath that one stitch. Yarn over and work your double crochet. That's one. Yarn over the hook, insert back into that same stitch, and work your second double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same space, and work your third double crochet. You have three double crochet into that last double crochet of that three double crochet group. So you worked three double crochet in the first stitch, you skipped the center stitch, and then you work three double crochet into that end stitch. We're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. You're going to skip this next chain six space and you're going to repeat from the beginning here. So go ahead and click back on the video if you need to. You're going to skip this chain six space. You're going to work three double crochet into that first double crochet of that three double crochet group. And you must remember to insert your hook underneath the two strands, but come underneath right into that space here underneath it. Insert your hook into that spot and make sure you have the three threads on your hook for when you insert your hook in that space. And you'll do that to the end stitch as well. So skip the chain six space, work three double crochet into the first stitch, skip the center stitch, work three double crochet into the end stitch. You're going to chain six and skip that chain six space. So go ahead and repeat that around. If you need help, click back on the video and just repeat it around. I will meet you at the end of round five and show you how to join. I'm over at the end of round five and this is what your work should look like. And don't get concerned about if it just doesn't quite look right because what we do when we get this doily done is we're just going to start from the center and we're going to stretch it out and then it forms its shape. So don't be too concerned if it just has a little bit oddity to its shape right now. You should have ended with a chain six. We're going to skip this ending chain six space. Let me put my hook back into that loop. And now we're going to go up and join our round with a slip stitch into the top of that beginning chain three. Count up one, two, three, insert into that chain and slip stitch. Yarn over the hook, pull it through that stitch, and pull it through the loop on your hook. Round five is finished. I'll be right back and we'll get round six started. To start round six, we're going to begin with the chain three. One, two, and three. We're going to work two double crochet into the same space at the top of that beginning chain three. Yarn over the hook, insert your hook into the top of that same beginning chain three, and work a double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same top of that same beginning chain three, and work a double crochet. 
So we started the round with our beginning chain three and then we worked two double crochet all in the top of this beginning chain three joining stitch. So it would be the first double crochet of that first three double crochet group. We're going to skip the next two double crochet and we're going to work three double crochet between these two skip stitches and that next double crochet. So we're going to work three double crochet right into the center of those two three double crochet groups. Yarn over the hook, skip those next two double crochet, insert your hook right between the first and second group of three double crochet, and work three double crochet. There's one. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same space, and work your second double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same space, and work your third double crochet. So you have three double crochet in that space between the first and second group of three double crochet. Yarn over the hook, you're going to skip the next two double crochet, you're going to insert your hook into that third double crochet of that double crochet group, and you're going to work three double crochet. There's one. Yarn over the hook, insert back into that same stitch, Work your second double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same stitch, and work your third double crochet. So now we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Now we're going to start our repeat. It's the same as what we just did, only we're working a double crochet instead of a chain three to start the next repeat. So when you work around, if you need help, this is where you'll start. Here, where I say this is the start of the repeat. You're going to yarn over, you're going to insert your hook into the first double crochet of that next three double crochet group. You're going to make sure that you go under, under the top two loops, but also go in one little space below where you're catching that extra strand of thread so you have three strands and work a double crochet. That's one. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same space of that same stitch, and work a second double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same space, and work a third double crochet. Yarn over the hook, you're going to skip the next two double crochet, insert your hook between the first and second group of those three double crochet right into the center of those groups, and you're going to work three double crochet. There's one. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same space, work your second double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same space, work your third double crochet. So you have three double crochet in the center of those two three double crochet groups. Yarn over the hook, you're going to skip the next two double crochet, you're going to insert your hook into that last stitch the same way I showed you, catching that third strand of thread and work three double crochet. There's one. 
yarn over the hook, insert into that same stitch, work a second double crochet, yarn over the hook, insert into that same stitch, and work a third double crochet. So you have three double crochet into that first stitch of that first three double crochet group. You have three double crochet right in the center of those two three double crochet groups. And then you work three double crochet into that last double crochet of that second three double crochet group. You're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. You're going to skip this next chain six space and that's the end of your repeat. So if you need help just click back on the video. So go ahead and work around. I will meet you at the end of round six and show you how to join. I'm over at the end of round six and this is what your doily should look like at this point. It still looks a little odd shaped, but again, we are going to stretch this and this is going to conform to the shape it should be. We're going to go ahead and just join in the same manner. We're just going to count up to the top of that beginning chain three. One, two, three. Insert your hook into the top of that beginning chain three and slip stitch. Yarn over the hook, pull it through that stitch and pull it through the loop on your hook. Round six is finished. I'll be right back and we'll get round seven started. We're ready to start round seven. So round seven is kind of made in the same manner. We're going to work the three double crochet into the first stitch. We're going to work three double crochet between the first and second group of three double crochet. Then we're going to jump over and work three double crochet between the second and third group. And then we're going to end with three double crochet into that last stitch. So let's begin. We're going to start with a chain three. One, two, and three. We're going to work two more double crochet right into the top of this beginning chain three. Yarn over the hook, insert into the top of that beginning chain three. Work your second double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same space and work your third double crochet. We're going to skip the next two stitches and we're going to work three double crochet between the first group of three and the second group of three double crochet stitches. Yarn over the hook, skip those two double crochet, insert into that space between the skip two stitches and that first stitch of the next group and work your first double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same space, and work your second double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same space, and work your third double crochet. Yarn over the hook, we're going to skip the next three stitches and we're going to work three double crochet between the skip three stitches and then that first stitch of that next group. Insert your hook into that space and work your first double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same space and work your second double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same space, and work your third double crochet. Now we're going to skip two stitches and work three double crochet into this last stitch. And remember, we're going under the two loops and then down in the center of that space below it so you catch that third strand of thread. 
So yarn over the hook, insert into that last stitch of that last three double crochet group, and work three double crochet. There's one. Yarn over the hook, insert back into that same space, work your second double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert back into that same space, and work your third double crochet. You're going to chain four, one, two, three, and four. And you're going to skip this chain five space below, and that is the end of the repeat. Now we're going to start the repeat again, only this time instead of using that chain three as the first double crochet, we're going to make an actual double crochet. So this is the start of the repeat, so if you need help doing your repeats when you work around, just click back to this part of the video. You're going to yarn over. You already skipped this chain 5 space, so we're going to work in the first double crochet of that first three double crochet group in the next section. Insert your hook and remember, get, catch that third strand of thread. Go underneath and catch that extra strand work your first double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert back into that same space, and work your second double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert back into that same space, and work your third double crochet. Yarn over the hook. You're going to skip the next two double crochet. Insert your hook between the skip two double crochet and the first double crochet of that next three double crochet group right into that space and work three double crochet. There's one. Yarn over the hook, insert back into that same space, work your second double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same space, and work your third double crochet. Yarn over the hook, you're going to skip the next three double crochet. Insert your hook between the skip three double crochet and that first double crochet of the next three double crochet group right into that space and work three double crochet. There's one. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same space, work your second double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same space, and work your third double crochet. Yarn over the hook. You're going to skip the next two double crochet and you're going to go up and insert your hook into the last double crochet of that three double crochet group and make sure that you go under the top two loops and then you're going right in the center of this area here, right where that little hole is. Drop down right underneath there, insert your hook, and you'll have that extra strand of yarn. So you should have a total of three threads in that one stitch. Work your three double crochet. There's one. Yarn over, insert into that same space. Work your second double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same space, and work your third double crochet. You're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. You're going to skip this next chain five space, and that is the end of your repeat. And you can see how your diamonds are starting to form. 
the bottom part of those diamonds that form the star. So go ahead and repeat from where I start the repeat. You're going to start with this first double crochet into that first double crochet of the next section. So just click back where I say this is the start of the repeat. Work it until I say this is the end of the repeat. You just keep working that around. You will end with your chain four and I will be back at the end of row seven and show you how to join. I'm over at the end of round seven and this is what your work should look like. We're going to get ready to join and if you have a little bit of puckering here that's going to be okay because we're going to stretch this and form the design so this is normal when you're making this for this to kind of like pucker just a little bit. So we're going to join in the same manner we're just going to go up and slip stitch into the top of that beginning chain three. Count up one two three insert that hook into the top of that beginning chain three yarn over pull through that stitch and pull through the loop on your hook so round seven is finished and we're going to go ahead and start round eight so let's begin round eight again we're going to start with a chain three one two and three we're going to work two more double crochet into the same space at the top of that beginning chain three. Yarn over, insert into that same space at the top of that beginning chain three. Work your second double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same space. Work your third double crochet. yarn over the hook. You're going to skip the next two double crochet. Insert your hook right between the first and second set of those three double crochet groups and you're going to work three double crochet. There's one. Yarn over the hook. Insert into that same space. Work your second double crochet. yarn over the hook, insert back into that same space, and work your third double crochet. Yarn over the hook, skip those next three double crochet, insert your hook between the skip three and the next three double crochet right into that space between those two groups, and work three double crochet. There's one, Yarn over the hook, insert into that same space, work your second double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same space, and work your third double crochet. Yarn over the hook, skip those next three double crochet, Insert between the skip three and that next double crochet of that next group right into the space between those two groups and work three double crochet. There's one. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same space, work your second double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same space, and work your third double crochet. Yarn over the hook, you're going to skip the next two double crochet. You're going to insert into that next double crochet, which is the last double crochet of the last three double crochet group, and you're going to work three double crochet. There's one. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same space, work your second double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same stitch, and work your third double crochet. You're going to chain three. One, two, and three. 
and you're going to skip this next chain four space. That is the end of the repeat. So I'll show you one more time. This is the start of the repeat. So if you need help, just click back to this point where I say this is the start of the repeat and follow it until I say this is the end of the repeat and just repeat it around your doily. So let's begin. Yarn over the hook, insert into that first double crochet of that first three double crochet group in the next section and we're going to work three double crochet into that same first stitch. There's one. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same space, work your second double crochet, yarn over the hook, insert into that same space, and work your third double crochet. yarn over the hook. You're going to skip those next two double crochet. You're going to insert your hook between the skip two and the first double crochet of that next three double crochet group right into that space and work three double crochet. There's one. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same space, work your second double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same space, and work your third double crochet. Yarn over the hook, you're going to skip the next three double crochet. Insert your hook between the skip three and the first double crochet of the next group, and work three double crochet. There's one. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same space, work your second double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into the same space, work your third double crochet. Yarn over the hook, you're going to skip the next three double crochet. Insert between the skip three and that first double crochet of the next group right into that space between the two groups and work three double crochet. There's one. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same space, work your second double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same space and work your third double crochet. Yarn over the hook. You're going to skip the next two double crochet. You're going to insert your hook into that last double crochet of that last three double crochet group and you're going to work three double crochet. There's one. Yarn over the hook. Insert into that same stitch. Work your second double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same stitch, and work your third double crochet. You're going to chain three. One, two, and three. You're going to skip this next chain four space below and that is the end of the repeat. So go ahead and click back on the video to where you started with the first double crochet in that first stitch of the next section. Follow it until I say this is the end of the repeat. I will meet you at the end of round eight and show you how to join. I'm over at the end of round eight and this is what your work should look like and again we're going to stretch this so it may look like it's just a little deformed with some gapping but like I said when you start at the center and you start stretching that out it'll start forming its shape. So let's go ahead and join with a slip stitch to the top of that beginning chain three. Count up one two, three, insert into the top of that chain, and slip stitch. Yarn over the hook, pull it through that stitch, and pull it through the loop on your hook. 
So now we're getting ready to start round nine and round nine is going to be worked in the same manner. We're going to start with our chain three. One, two, and three. We're going to work two more double crochet into the top of that beginning chain three. Yarn over, insert into that same stitch. Work your second double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert back into that same stitch at the top of that beginning chain three and work your third double crochet. You're going to skip two double crochet. We're going to work three double crochet between the first and second group of three stitches. Yarn over the hook, insert into that space between the skip two double crochet and the first double crochet of that next group and work three double crochet. There's one. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same space, work your second double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same space, and work your third double crochet. Yarn over the hook, you're going to skip the next three double crochet. Insert your hook between the skip three and the first double crochet of the next group and work three double crochet. There's one. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same space, work your second double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same space and work your third double crochet. Yarn over the hook, skip the next three double crochet, insert your hook between the skip three and the first double crochet of the next group, and work three double crochet. There's one. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same space, work your second double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same space, and work your third double crochet. Yarn over the hook, you're going to skip the next three double crochet, insert your hook between the skip three and the first double crochet of the next group and work three double crochet. There's one. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same space, work your second double crochet Yarn over the hook, insert into that same space, and work your third double crochet. Yarn over the hook, you're going to skip the next two double crochet. You're going to insert into the top of that last double crochet of the last three double crochet group, and you're going to work three double crochet. There's one. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same stitch, and work your second double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same stitch, and work your third double crochet. You're going to chain two. One, two. You're going to skip this chain three space and that's the end of the repeat. So I'm going to work it one more time with you. So let's begin and again if you need help this is where you're going to click back on the video to where this is the start of the repeat. Click back to this point and then work until I say this is the end of the repeat and just continue working that repeat around. Yarn over the hook you're going to insert your hook into the first double crochet of that first three double crochet group. Work your three double crochet. There's one. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same space. 
work your second double crochet yarn over the hook insert into that same space work your third double crochet I've been saying space um, it is the same stitch so it's just where you put your hook in if I say space I meant stitch or space in the same area where you did the first stitch yarn over the hook you're going to skip the next two double crochet insert your hook between the two skipped and the first double crochet of that next group and work three double crochet there's one yarn over the hook insert into that same space work your second double crochet yarn over the hook insert into that same space work your third double crochet yarn over the hook skip the next three double crochet insert between the three skip double crochet and the first double crochet of the next group and work your three double crochet there's one yarn over the hook insert into that same space work your second double crochet yarn over the hook insert into that same space work your third double crochet yarn over the hook you're going to skip the next three double crochet insert between the skip three double crochet and that next double crochet and work three double crochet there's one yarn over the hook insert into that same space work your second double crochet yarn over the hook insert into that same space and work your third double crochet yarn over the hook you're going to skip the next three double crochet insert your hook in that space between the skip three double crochet and that first double crochet of the next group and work three double crochet one yarn over the hook insert into that same space work your second double crochet yarn over the hook insert into that same space and work your third double crochet yarn over the hook you're going to skip the next two double crochet insert into the next double crochet which is the last double crochet of the last three double crochet group and work three double crochet there's one yarn over the hook insert into the top of that same stitch work your second double crochet yarn over the hook insert into that same stitch and work your third double crochet you're going to chain two you're going to skip that next chain three space and that is the end of the repeat so go ahead and repeat around I will meet you at the end of round nine and show you how to join I'm over at the end of round nine and this is what my work looks like now you will have a wave going on in your doily now if you lay it flat and you press it down then one of the edges will be really high in the air like this <laughs> that is going to be normal because again we're going to stretch this so if you just lay your work out you will have a little bit of ruffling going on so I'm going to go ahead and just slip stitch my round together so we're going back up to the top of that beginning chain three one two three insert your hook into the top of that beginning chain three and slip stitch yarn over the hook pull it through that stitch and pull it through the loop on your hook so round nine is finished and we're getting ready to start round ten so round ten is going to be worked in the same manner as we have been only we're not going to chain in between our sections so let's begin we're going to start with our chain three one two three 
we're going to work two double crochet into the top of that beginning chain three yarn over the hook insert back into the top of that stitch work a double crochet that's one yarn over the hook insert back into that same stitch and work your second double crochet you're going to skip the next two double crochet yarn over the hook insert between the skip two double crochet and that next three double crochet group and work three double crochet there's one yarn over the hook insert back into that same space work your second double crochet yarn over the hook insert back into that space work your third double crochet yarn over the hook you're going to skip the next three double crochet we're going to work three double crochet between the skip three double crochet and that next double crochet of that next group there's one yarn over the hook insert into that same space work your second double crochet yarn over the hook insert into that same space and work your third double crochet and we're going to continue this across to the end of this section here so yarn over the hook skip the next three double crochet insert between the skip three and the next double crochet and work three double crochet there's two and there's three yarn over the hook you're going to skip the next three double crochet insert between the skip three double crochet and that next double crochet and you're going to work three double crochet there's one two and three yarn over the hook you're going to skip the next three double crochet insert between the skip three and that next double crochet of that next group and work three double crochet there's one two and three you're going to skip the next two double crochet yarn over the hook insert into that next stitch which is the last double crochet of the last three double crochet group and work three double crochet there's one two and three we're going to skip this next chain two space and we're going to start our repeat all over again so this repeat we started with a chain three our next repeat will start with a double crochet so I'll work it with you one more time to start the repeat and if you need help click back to this point on the video where I say this is the start of the repeat you're going to yarn over, you skip that chain two space, you insert your hook into the first double crochet of that first three double crochet group, and you work three double crochet. There's one, two, and three yarn over the hook you're going to skip the next two double crochet insert between the skip two and that next double crochet and work three double crochet 
There's one. Two. And three. Yarn over the hook. You're going to skip the next three double crochet. Insert your hook between the skip three double crochet and that next stitch and work three double crochet. There's one, two, and three. All in that same space. Yarn over the hook. You're going to skip the next three double crochet. Insert your hook between the skip three and that next double crochet of that next group and work three double crochet. There's one. And I'm working all my stitches in the same space. There's two. And three. Yarn over the hook. You're going to skip the next three double crochet. Insert between the skip three and that next double crochet and work three double crochet. There's one. Two. And three. Yarn over the hook. You're going to skip the next three double crochet. Insert between the skip three and that next double crochet and work three double crochet. There's one. Two. And three. Yarn over the hook. You're going to skip the next two double crochet, insert your hook into the next double crochet, which is the last double crochet of the last three double crochet group of that section, and work three double crochet all in that same stitch. There's two. And there's three. You're going to skip that chain two space and that is the end of the repeat. So go ahead and click back on the video if you need help. Start where you made your first three double crochet in the first double crochet of the next section. Work that around and I will meet you at the end of round 10 and show you how to join. I'm over at the end of round 10 and this is what your work should look like and again it's going to have a little bit of a wave in it and when we stretch it out you can see how that inside star here is going to form. So we're at our halfway point with our diamonds that form that outer star so we're just going to go ahead and join again by putting a slip stitch into the top of that beginning chain three. So count up to the top of that beginning chain three. You're going to skip that ending chain two. Count up one, two, three. Insert your hook into the top of that beginning chain three and slip stitch. Yarn over the hook, pull through that stitch, and pull through the loop on your hook. And that's what your doily should look like. So at this point of the video, we just completed round 10 where we are right at the center of our diamond where we just created the center. So now in part two, we're going to start here where we just finished round 10. We're going to complete rounds 11, which start here where we decrease, and we're going to work up to round 18. Due to the videos being so long because this is kind of a detailed pattern, I'm trying to separate them so they're 
less than an hour. Now part one was just a little over an hour so that's why I stopped. So I'm going to do this in three parts. Again part two we're going to pick up and we're going to start here. We're going to decrease, make our point, and finish with our white. Part three I'm going to take you through step by step doing the border which is a lot easier because it's just simple repeats and we'll get our border done and at the end of part three I'm going to show you how to block and starch your doily so you get this wonderful effect. It's not real stiff it's just a nice way to make it light but still hold its shape. So stay tuned for part two and part three. I am doing them. The videos are done. I'm just editing them and when they're edited I'll get them on as fast as possible. So thank you everyone for stopping by. The links will be in my description box for the pattern and the links for the Hobium yarn to buy the yarn art violet thread will also be in there. So thank you everybody and I look forward to seeing you for part two. Happy crocheting!